In this video, I will show you how to use superscripts, subscripts, and Greek symbols in the axis titles and legend of your graph. Here we have sphere area and sphere volume versus sphere radius. The legend of the graph is picking up the comments, column, label, row, in the worksheet. Let's show you how to use the pi symbol as well as the superscript for r squared and r cubed. If I click on Format Worksheet, I go to the Format tab, I want to apply to the Comments row, I need to enable rich text. So when we enable rich text, we'll have this capability. Let me cancel out of this and show you in Origin 9, starting with SR1, we implemented the right click option here, the context menu. So if you right click on units, you can go down and choose set unit style and notice that rich text is checked. So by default you can then go up to units there, highlight the two, and we can change that to be a superscript. So for you for the units, this feature is already enabled. So again, let's make that a superscript. But for the comments label row, if I right click and go to set comment styles, I do have to enable rich text. Once I do that, I then can repeat that same process. What I'm going to do here is just retype it. So we're going to do four. Now I'm going to right click and I want to choose symbol map which allows me to insert the pi symbol. And then I can continue typing. And then I just need to select that 2 and make that a superscript. And now I'm going to repeat those steps for sphere volume. So again, we're going to type in 4. We're going to right click and go to symbol map where we can choose to insert any symbol. Select pi again, insert, continue typing. We're going to do R and then make the 3 a superscript as well. Now if we go back to the graph and refresh that, we're going to see that both the legend and the axis titles, the y-axis titles, update accordingly. Now I'm going to open up another book here, same data, just a copy of the book, and show you that there's also another option. So I'm going to show you that the rich text is off. Okay, And if I wanted, instead of enabling rich text, I could actually type in the escape sequences to achieve the same result in the graph. So for the Greek symbol, I need to do backslash G and then in parentheses the letter P. And to do a superscript it's plus and then the number in parentheses. So I'm going to repeat that here. So this is just the alternative. If you don't want to use the format toolbar with the superscript buttons there and enabling rich text, you can just type in the escape sequences here. And I can go back once I've done this, highlight that, create a new graph. And we'll see that we also have the same result. So the escape sequences were then interpreted here and displayed correctly. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.